Crisco House on Macon's College Street has stood for more than a century. Legend has it the man who built the house went on to invent Crisco. Now the house may get new life as a boutique hotel. The first turtle, the in-town neighborhood association. Anthony Montalto takes us to tonight's presentation. The plan is for the potential buyers to live in the house and then have 12 other boutique hotel rooms also inside. They also want to turn the backyard into a parking area. Reaction from the neighborhood association was pretty mixed, but even Mayor Lester Miller offered his support. I think it's more personal to let you know in person uh, how supportive I am of this project. The mayor is all in. Very sincere people. Uh, they got a heart for our community already, which a lot of people fall out of a make when you get here. Uh, they can be an asset to our community. The potential buyers in too. It means so much that it can be used creatively to shine a light on other areas of the city. But the neighbors had some concerns, like parking. Michael Rivellino and his wife, actress Carrie Ginzel, had a solution. Turn the backyard into a parking area. Basically, the cars would come in and park back there. From the street, you wouldn't see them. Others worried the alley that would lead guests to the backyard is too narrow. Four houses use the alley to get to their driveways. Some neighbors say people often park in the alley and block them in. Others called the whole process sneaky. Stuff that's not being presented here unless, unless we ask the right question. Rivellino argued they needed to iron things out before presenting the plans to the neighborhood. We did not do anything to surprise anyone. This was just the step in the process where we present to Ethiel, we present to you, you get to ask questions and we have to answer. Now the Neighborhood Association doesn't really have any official say in what happens here. That belongs to Historic Macon and the Planning and Zoning Commission. They wanted to loop in the Neighborhood Association just to make sure that everyone was on the same page. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. All right, after speaking with the Neighborhood Association tonight, they will go back to the Zoning Board to see if the Zoning Board will approve making the house a business. Historic Macon would also need to change a set of rules that comes with the house, saying it must be a single-family home.